Hello to you dear friends and thank you for coming back to my channel. This week I decided that I should not paint this furniture but uh, I should just try to bring it back to its original beauty. So um, I have this customer, she has a very, as you can see, a very colorful, colorful home. So uh, more color maybe would have been too much. So what we decided together was to just restore this furniture to its original beauty. And that's what we've done. And because the top of this furniture was quite um, scratched, uh, I decided to send it to the bare wood. I took away all the varnish that was uh, originally um, on this furniture. And uh, after I sanded it and I uh, dusted all the, the dust away, I uh, applied uh, three, I think three or four coats of clear coat on this uh, uh, bare wood uh, sanded uh, top. This kind of a project is quite easy for everybody to do um, because you send it, everybody has a sender, <laughs> a sandler in, in, in his home and uh, once you get rid of all that uh, nasty scratched uh, finish, you have a bare wood that will absorb very easily uh, the clear coat. I think I applied here four coats of clear coat just for protection uh, the rest of the furniture was quite in good shape so i didn't have to send all the furniture only the top and you will see later on that i come on the rest of the furniture with some little tricks to make it beautiful and to make it shine back again For the rest of the furniture, I just cleaned it very well with uh, the Dixie Bell uh, white lining. And after I let it dry for about an hour or so, I came back with uh, some uh, black wax and I uh, underlined all the details, moldings, key holders on this furniture. And after I applied gilding wax. So as I told you earlier, I think that this is really a beautiful project that everyone can do it at home. Uh, a little bit of, uh, I don't know, imagination and uh, a little bit of uh, willingness to bring back the beauty of the natural wood. So when you find or when I find a nice furniture that has no damage on it, I always try to save it and to keep it for many, many years from now on. Uh, shining in its natural beauty. Here I'm applying uh, the black wax on the natural wood, cleaned. Uh, with the white lightning and after that let it dry and uh, as I told you earlier I'm applying uh, black wax and you will see later on uh, I come back with uh, the gilding wax just to accent 
the details the moldings and all the corners just to make them shiny again So here we are, we don't have to paint furniture to have fun, so we can have fun even uh, without painting, just bringing back to life a furniture that is really beautiful with a little bit of effort and just very few products like some sander, uh, gilding wax, black wax and a good cleaning and here it is, this is the way that your furniture can look and um, if you have such a beautiful furniture don't forget to to look into alternatives other than painting just bringing back to life the beauty of, of uh, the piece as it is uh, and um, i don't know we don't have as i said we don't have to paint all the time we just have to look into the furniture and let it speak to ourselves Thank you very much for watching this video and if you liked it and if you like my channel don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. So see you next week and have a lovely weekend. Take care of you. Bye.